And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast up against Jeffum. He is the Blue Terran in the Southwest. The map is Zelnaga Caverns, which I have never been a fan of. I don't like this map, but fortunately, um, he is a Terran, so he probably doesn't like it just as much as I do. Um, I did think about doing something... Um, because I did get promoted to Silver, I thought about uh, starting to show um, the profiles and records of uh, my opponents before each match. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I decided not to do it this game because um, it was my first um, my first ever match on Silver, so I did just want to kind of focus on uh, the skill level of him. Um, as opposed to what you had been seeing with my bronze ladder matches before that. Um, but let me know, do you guys want to see the records, or did you know? Do you want to leave that to the upper tier guys, you know, the diamond players, the, the pro players? Or did you were you curious about that in my matches as well? Because, let's face it, I am no pro. Like I said, this was my first silver ladder match. Um... And already I'm doing something a little fancy, something I did see in the upper tier games. Um, I, I, well, not that right there. That was a little okie doke juke move that I did right there. But what I did here was I moved uh, my SCV to this watchtower, to this tower, then into his base. And the reason I did that was just in case he went for any sort of crazy build in the middle of the map, some kind of um, bunker, barracks, who knows what could have happened there. Um, you know, it, it's, oh, it's never too early to assume the worst of your opponent. And he is trying to harass that barracks, so is he going to be going for... Oh, look at that. He survived with 5 HP. But what I was thinking was, is he going for um, some kind of early uh, marine push? Is that why he went uh, for the harass? I always assume that, but, you know, then again, it's it might just be good to harass if you can get that free kill and delay his barracks. That's always a good sign. But look at this marine going out. Is he going to stay at the Zelnaga Tower here? No, he's not. He's going right past it. Um, meanwhile, he's pretty much sticking with the command center. It looks like he's not getting the orbital command. Mine is already up. Um, and here the SCV is out, and along with the Marine. If you ever see this, uh, that means he is going for a bunker. Oh, man. Proxy bunkers. So if you ever spot this, uh, kill the SCV first. I'm just, I, I'm telling you right now, I don't care that uh, the Marines are the ones doing damage to you, because this is going to happen, and how, you can't take that out. I mean, look how fast that's being built. Um, you take out the SCV, then try to get the Marine. More Marines going out. This guy totally got bumped into, but he doesn't seem to care. He just got lost somewhere along the way and refuses to ask directions. Second barracks coming up. Finally, an orbital command being warped in. Uh, meanwhile, I am going for the three racks into an engineering bay. You guys got it. And I did supply lock myself. Oh my gosh. This is not good for my first civil match. But it doesn't look like it's going to be that big of a deal right now because he is not... Looks, it doesn't look like he's going for a, like, a, a push. I, I mean, that, that proxy bunker could be considered a, a push in and of itself, but the, the bunker can't move. So he's pretty much taken a forward defensive stance. He's holding me to my base, and that's that's pretty much as far as it went. And great strategy here, though. Going for that command center. Going for the fast expansion, really. It is still pretty fast out of um, after getting the bunker here, because I... I cannot leave this my base without um, him seeing it. So this place is pretty secure. It all depends on his execution of it because it, he is still blocked in. He's not producing any more units. I have a huge lead in the army count um, because he is focusing on the economy right now. It looks like no, he did finally start to produce marauders um, and. 
Oh, he's going for a second bunker. So really, he's he's just getting the units that he feels he needs um, while he works on his expansion. I assume that he'll be getting a lot of uh, SCVs out of that. He did end up using that for uh, using the energy for a scan. There, um, there that scan went. And he was able to see everything that I had. It was a great scan from him. Um, he was probably able to get a bunch of these guys, um, and that is why he is going for Marines and Marauders now. He did see what army I did have. Uh, but no, looks like he stopped after that, uh, going into a factory. So he is hoping that uh, these bunkers will stall me in my base uh, for a while. But no, it looks like I'm going for a push here because... Um, he did, because of that scan, really, um, if he hadn't gone for that scan, I probably would not have pushed as soon as I did. Uh, these Marauders don't care about their comrades, but of course they can handle themselves. Um, but the scan, um, when it went down, and I knew that he saw everything I have, probably including the army, I wasn't sure about that, but I did figure that he had it. Um, I decided, you know what, I need to take advantage of what I have now, and do what I can because he doesn't have the economy that I think he does. Uh, so any attack I can get in early would be great. So I go for the attack. Always go for the expansion just to check it out. And he's pretty much got nothing left to defend it. He's got uh, two marines and a marauder. Uh, just the one marauder is left. So those two marines went down. He's down almost entirely. Does this Oh, look at that. I was going to ask if it counts when that uh, command center blew up. But look at that. Oh, it stopped mid-explosion with the grenade going right at it. Oh, you're screwed, man. Okay, so yeah, that was the game. Um, once again, another quick one. Um, I, I assume you guys aren't that big of fans of the quick ones, but I thought this was an interesting game, uh, not only because of the proxy bunker, um, but, uh, you know, and me just basically steamrolling once I got a large army and me move, moving up because of the scan. Um, I did get the level 1 upgrades and, you know, all the, all the tech out of the tech labs and all that kind of stuff. Getting the factory probably should, would have been going for the expansion um, if I remembered in time. But really, just a, a little bit poor execution on his part. But mostly I wanted to show this game because it was my first experience on the Silver Ladder. And I wanted to show, you know what, there's not a definitive change in how players play uh, based on what ladder they are on. If you're um, high bronze or low silver, to me, it's, it's roughly the same depending on... Uh, strategies, how well you're executed, and how well your opponents are, are familiar with that strategy. Uh, so I was familiar with the proxy bunker strategy, knew that as soon as I took those out, that he would be weak on the other side, and he was. Uh, so I went for the fast um, the fast counterattack and was able to force him to leave the game, and that ended it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Bye.